The red indicator at the bottom left corner of a clip is a telltale sign that the audio and video portion of the clip are out of sync. So let's go ahead and have a look at the one that we have right here. If we're going to have a scene, either ask this young man to leave or introduce us. Marion, please. Helen. Oh, no, look. So as you can see, the audio and the video part of this clip are clearly out of sync at this point. So to fix it, what we're going to do is to right click on the red indicator. But whether you click on the red indicator on the audio or video part of this clip makes a difference. And we're going to get into that later on. So for now, let's go ahead and click right click on the red indicator on the audio clip. And in the menu, you have four options. We're going to talk about slip into place right now. So what this is going to do, it's going to keep the structure, the existing structure of this clip intact. And what it's going to do is to simply slip or move the audio content of the clip uh, to match the video part of this clip. So let's go ahead and click on this. What you will notice is that the audio waveform is going to shift as a result, but the video content is not going to change at all. So now let's go ahead and uh, have a listen. Marion, please. Helen. Oh, now look, let her alone. After all, I was expelled from Harvard, wasn't I? Why shouldn't a girl follow in her father's footsteps? Excuse me. Another option we have is called slip others into place. This is very much like slip into place, but what it's going to do is to slip the video content uh, instead of the audio content. So you will notice that the audio waveform will stay intact in this case, but the video has been shifted as a result. So let's go ahead and uh, have a listen. If we're going to have a scene, either ask this young man to leave or introduce us. Marion, please. Helen. Oh, now look, let her alone. After all, I was expelled from Harvard. What so as you can see, there's a slight difference compared to the other option in terms of which part of this clip is going to be slipped. But the most important thing to keep in mind here is that the structure of this clip is not going to change. In addition to what we just saw, we also have a couple more options here, one of which is called move into place. Now what this will do, instead of slipping the content of the audio content, it will actually physically move the audio clip itself to match up with the video part of this uh, clip. So uh, it will actually change the existing structure as a result. If we're going to have a scene, either ask this young man to leave or introduce us. Marion, please. Helen. Oh, now look, let her alone. The other option we have is called move others into place. So this, as you can imagine, is going to move the video part of this clip to sync up with the audio. So now let's go ahead and have a listen. If we're going to have a scene, either ask this young man to leave or introduce us. Marion, please. Helen. Oh, no, look. So both options, as you can see, are going to physically alter the structure of the clip. And that is a key difference of these two options compared to the other two that we saw earlier. Now, as I mentioned earlier, whether you click on the red indicator on the video or the audio part of the clip matters. So now instead, let's click on the red indicator on the video part uh, or the video portion of this clip. And let's go ahead and choose slip into place. What you will notice is that it's going to slip the video content instead and the audio waveform is going to stay intact. So now let's go ahead and uh, have a look. If we're going to have a scene, either ask this young man to leave or introduce us. Marion, please. Helen. Oh, now look, let her alone. After all, I was expelled from Harvard. Now, on the other hand, if we were to choose, let's say, slip others into place, this is going to now slip the audio content to match with the video part of this clip. So let's go ahead and uh, have one last look. Reduces. Marion, please. Helen. Oh, now look, let her alone. After all, I was expelled from Harvard, wasn't I? Why shouldn't? All right, guys. So I hope all this helps. And as always, I will see you next time.